Victims and survivors, along with their friends and families, have been let down, and I am sorry that this has happened. I cannot say with absolute certainty, just because lessons have been learned, that this will never happen again. However, my drive as PCC remains resolute to ensure the system that is there to keep people safe continues building on the progress that has been made. This report will no doubt have people questioning their confidence in policing. This is why my commitment is clear. I want victims to feel empowered to speak up, knowing that their local police who are there to keep them safe have learned those lessons. I am reassured that West Mercia Police has greater knowledge and understanding, better training and dedicated resources than it has in the past. Despite this progress, I will continue to support and challenge the force in delivering the level of services that victims and our communities would expect. Across West Mercia, I have not only invested in more local police officers, but also in services and projects that raise awareness so that people can spot the signs of this abhorrent crime. This has to be a whole society approach if we are to be successful, in which communities play a vital role. I will equip communities to not only protect themselves, but also those around them, and encourage them to report any concerns they have. Doing everything possible to keep our vulnerable young people safe and seeing that full force of the law is brought down on those that seek to exploit them is quite rightly what the public would expect. This includes taking the recommendations from the inquiry and ensuring they are implemented. I will therefore ensure their voice is heard, reflected and represented as we continue to drive to do better.